Well, hello YouTube. Here we are with our spring 2017 update. First of all, I'd like to say, again, welcome to spring. The Canadian winter has been uh, long and dark. Kind of a typical Canadian winter, if you want to say. Well, there has been a lot of changes going on uh, over winter. A lot of things have been uh, going on, things that have come into my life, and things that have left as well. There are more changes coming out this spring, with new things coming into my life, as well as some things that are leaving. It's weird how things change. You know, one time you buy something with the hopes of using it either as a project or a way to get away this summer. Then next thing you know, you have the opportunity to make some money. So therefore you sell it and away it rolls. However, as one door closes, another one opens, which of course means a potential project, just a matter of time before that all comes to reality then a little bit of a road trip to go pick it up and then well it's all good well the 2003 Chevrolet Silverado has been a good track for the years that I've had it however I believe if things keep going the way they are going it's gonna mean that me and the truck are gonna have to part ways of course due to the injury that I have I am finding it difficult to drive the truck as well as when I do force myself to drive it it does cause me a considerable amount of pain in the following day or days after driving said truck so unfortunately I believe that uh, we are gonna have to list it for sale you know it's one of those things that uh, well it is what it is right things come and uh, things go. Well I've posted a couple of rounds of classified ads already and there has been a bit of interest however a lot of people get turned away by the fact that it is not loaded with all those fancy options. In my experience the fancy options usually end up breaking in the future and causing you you know headache and grief. However uh, for some odd reason, people would rather have power windows, power locks, navigation, you know, leather, all that electronic stuff that can and will go wrong, and rather have to deal with the 14-year-old problems than dealing with a vehicle that is uh, plain Jane with very little to go wrong and uh, very nearly rust-free. This truck is in very, very good mechanical condition. It is a 14 year old Chevy, I will give you that, and it does need some minor things. One of the larger things it needs is a windshield, which I've known that since day one, as well as this winter uh, the windshield wiper hoses froze. Now I have to do some research whether I can replace the wiper arms or I can replace just the uh, you know few dollar price tag on the hose. But um, there's nothing that's wrong with that truck that I can't tinker with over time if I do choose to keep it. Well, my little shop that I got that I do my projects in and uh, various other things, well, it uh, survived another winter. Um, it's kind of weird, you know, you're trying to do things out of a small 60-year-old shop and you're making do with uh, what you have you know sometimes you have the power to change but you choose to uh, keep what you have because well it is uh, what you know right I've had a few moments this spring to go in there and do some mini projects there will be some videos coming down the line I have a few more projects that I'm wanting to do this spring or summer one of the projects are to finish the long awaiting tool room project. Unfortunately, there will be no video of that because, well, it was all on the hard drive that got lost and uh, for some odd reason the data wasn't recovered.
And one of the things I'd like to start um, or possibility finish is the garage or shop side of the garage. You know, give the garage a new coat of paint uh, inside and out and uh, just kind of give it some love. It's been neglected over the last uh, three, four years with everything going on and uh, I think this is the year that uh, there will be a big change in the garage. Well, my main vehicle, of course, is a 2016 GMC Canyon. It is uh, doing very, very well. There's been no problems with it as of right yet, even no recalls on it as of right yet, which is uh, surprising considering at this time of uh, point when I had the 2015, I already had two or three recalls. Well, it's narrowing down to where I think uh, the oil should be changed. However, I haven't got a straight answer yet from the dealership on whether I need to get a service appointment or just kind of wing it until it reaches like 30,000 kilometers and then everybody starts to panic. I usually change my oil right around the 5,000 kilometer mark. However, uh, when I asked them, they weren't really uh, willing or wanting to book a service appointment. It has already been six months and I've usually had my oil changes and servicing done again at the 5,000 kilometer mark. But this time I guess they don't need the business or the appointment so uh, they encourage me to let it slide for well more time and more kilometers. Well do you guys notice something different about the 2016 GMC Canyon? I had something installed the other day on the truck that's going to benefit me in the future. Something people will notice and something people would not notice. If you notice, leave a comment below. Uh, if not, then hey, watch for an upcoming video and hey, we'll see what people's opinions are on said installed item. As always, the outbuildings are doing fairly, fairly well. They weathered a little bit, but uh, hey, that's part of life. In my last update video, I believe I said I was going to end up rearranging the yard. However, due to something that changed here this spring, I will not have to do the rearranging in the yard. All that being said, the little garden shed may end up being sold or torn down. I, It was built for a purpose back in 2011, and that purpose has long been served and really it's just become a junk collector and there's nothing more in there of value except garbage and things that tend to get collected and uh, thrown in there. It will be interesting to see how well this summer unfolds. I am going for surgery here in uh, just a few more days and it should be a normal surgery as they are saying. Nothing out of the ordinary, something that they are saying is just going to take a, a few hours to do. Then of course there will be the uh, recovery, the physio program to follow. I'm hoping to be uh, back on my feet per se to be right around June or July. And then we can start doing our summer projects that I want to do. Get uh, stuff going and then well, it'll be what it is. Well, for the last couple of years, I've had a project in the back of my mind to get the eavesdropping, soffit, and fascia done on the house. And it just never really happened. It took a long time to scrape together what I needed. And uh, I've started to get projects done around the house. Um, end up paying them out rather than waiting for me to have the time to do it myself. The uh, eaves troughing should have been done uh, when I moved into this house a few years ago. However, with everything going on, sometimes they get pushed to the back burner to the point where, well, they kinda need to be done. Well, the vlogging channel is doing okay. I have gained a couple of subscribers since the last update video. Keep on going, keep on rolling on that channel. The vlogs are the way they are. They're really not going to evolve much, I don't believe. Trying to keep the viewers entertained, but trying to keep some of my personal details or life 
off of YouTube sometimes is a difficult choice to do. Well, the Maxwell's World Channel, or I should say Maxwell's Life Entertainment Channel, is doing well. I have gained a few subscribers since January. Kind of the turn of the new year seemed to be the turn of that channel. Um, it's doing a little better now than it was in 2016. Even with uh, all the things that are going on, that channel still continues to, well, get views and uh, people watch my stuff. It'll be interesting to see what else comes out on that channel in the future. Well, the Fire Pit channel is doing well. We have uh, enough content or uploads to sustain the channel for another few months. At that time, I'll either have to make a choice to either reshoot more content or to make a change altogether. I'm hoping to um, maybe unroll something new on that channel in another few months. We'll have to see how the uh, summer into fall unfolds. If it's as crazy as last year, then you may have to hold off on the change for a little bit longer. Well, earlier on this year, I did place an order for some promotional material like decals, business cards, magnets, things like that. And I was quite impressed when they showed up with the quality, you know, the color, the quality of the decal and all that. So I am in the process right now of placing another uh, decal order, if you want to say. If you would like any uh, decals, anything like that, uh, PM me with your address or send me a letter again to the P.O. box that is listed below. Again, I do have a fan mail box that I've had for about a year now. It's been a rather quiet on the fan mail side of things, other than that one letter that was sent out months ago from Nico out of Edmonton. Drop me a PM on the social media with your address so I can thank you properly. But guys, you know how that rolls. That pretty much concludes our April 2017 update. Join us back here in May, see how uh, things have progressed a little further. We'll get a better sense of direction on how the summer's going to go, um, how the surgery went, how uh, much I'm going to be laid up for, and really, I guess it'll be what it is. Thanks for watching Maxwell's World. Comment, subscribe, and enjoy.